Trailer off to Moore. She fires an open three, left side, air ball, but the rebound on the weak side to Madison Lady. Back on top to Trailer. She fires a deep three and hits. Kayana Trailer finally breaks the three point spell for the Boilermakers. One seconds. The Boilermakers have gone on a 7 0 run to push the lead from three back up to 10. JT picked up out on top by Paul. Now here's Moore. Buffalo looks like they're starting in the zone. Here's Lady with a three and she hits. Cross-court to Brooke Moore. Moore puts it on the deck. Back off the trailer. Trailer on top to Moore. Moore fires a three. Good. Brooke Moore gets her first triple. She has been going for six for three point range. 18, 25 percent from three point range. Here is Farquhar with it. Farquhar off to Brooke Moore. Moore fires a three. Left side. Got it. Brooke Moore with a triple. There's trailer the other way to Madison Lady. Short corner to go far far. There's pin it left side. Moore has an open three. It's on the way, and it's good. And he's hanging around here. Moore drives. Moore with another wrap on top of Lady. Back to trailer. First three, left side. Up and good. Talked a lot about positionless basketball this year, as Farquhar has it at the elbow. That's the freshman up top, Madison Layden, with a triple. Moore knocks down the triple, and it was great hearing the communication from Purdue there on the offensive end. She gets there, but look at Moore. See, doesn't need a lot of space to get the shot off. Just get out and run, get easy buckets, but just settle into an offense and get into a scoring rhythm. Trailer left open, and she knocks it down. And up top that time, it's Layden, Madison Layden. Just trying to see how hot she was. Her only bucket, her only points here so far was that three-point attempt from the top of the key. It falls for Janelle Grant. Who's a 6'6 freshman, so able to get a little quick runner and then a little inside-outside. Trailer coming down against Cloud, and Trailer takes it to the rack, lays it up, missed it. Rebound tipped and controlled by Dion, who kicks it out to McLaughlin for three, oh, and she yeah. hits. Carissa McLaughlin has just tied Katie Gerald. I do want to see Benson get a little bit more involved in the offense. I feel like when she touches it, Maryland starts to produce and do more. And Faith Masonis is very capable of making great decisions in transition. McLaughlin, another three, and she has it. Now the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of Purdue women's basketball. And she, she's the 18th player to join the 1,000-point club as a junior last year. Every college player in the country this year. And Kayana Trailer's first triple tries off the mark. There's an offensive rebound. It recycles out to Madison Layden, and the freshman buries the three-pointer. But Rashea Kyle, the freshman in, she's posting up. She's 6'6". Six, six. Let's, they'll look to feed her down low, but that, like you said earlier, Chris, that's looking good for Purdue. Offensive struggles for Purdue in particular on this three-game slide. They've been held under 50 points in each of their last two games. Sharon Versip knows as well as anyone that her team's got to knock down some shots, and that's a great start. Kayana Trailer, the junior from Martinsville, Indiana. She is confident. She's going to keep shooting regardless. Madison Layden knocks it down, and that was one thing that we were excited to watch today the matchup between two standout freshman guards. That won't last long. And again, the other freshman, Madison Layden. And Madison Layden hasn't used the rim once on any of her five made three pointers. How about a six? <laughs> today, from every spot on the floor. Now look at Layden running the point. She's had the hot hand for Purdue. Into McLaughlin. Got it! It's a two-point game, end of the third quarter. Hot hand is going to look to create her own. Draws to Carissa McLaughlin on the money. Trailer did the same to Gabby Marshall, but Purdue still has it with three to shoot. Trailer lets it fly. James Harden, yes! <laughs> Both teams have had sort of a murderer's row schedule to start the Big Ten Conference play. As that three goes down. And you have to make the proper decisions quickly. More a quick trigger three. Knocks it down from the left side. You know, my dad was just on my case, but 
she certainly loves him, but you know, if you have kids who play ball, you know what that feels like. But you want the best for your kids and you want them to want the best for themselves. And it takes that extra hard work. Now Moore pulls it out with five. Moore a three, and Purdue takes the lead. Brooke Moore, big time shot. Huge shot the other night, the freshman for the Purdue men's team, and right here on the other side of it, Brooke Moore says, hey, I can knock that in as well during clutch time. Post Pichalova went underneath that screen, and you just can't do that. Great court vision by Powell there. Always good to have the ball in her hands. Three from Layden, which she'll sink. Peebles meeting trailer out near half court. So there's a little change for Illinois with extending this zone defense a little bit further out. Trailer in kind takes a long three-pointer and drains it. And there they've got the big guards and Dilk who can rebound. Nice steal there from Kiana Trailer in transition. It's Madison Layden hitting the three shot. And those are the first points for Purdue in this second quarter. Yeah, I like that little, just the dish, Madison Layden. They, they, they've had a bunch of turnovers to work on, but haven't had a bunch of opportunities in transition. And yet Trailer hits a three, back-to-back -back three pointers for the Boilermakers. With the three, and then the defense collapses, there's Trailer. Eight boards a game for the Boilermakers. Yeah, it, it's a tough afternoon all around. We, we were looking for that to be a marquee matchup as Good shot there by Trailer. Looking for options. A high screen from Dion. Now back to the corner. Right back to Moore, and that's a three ball for Brooke Moore, the junior transfer. And possession will stay with the Boilermakers. Just over a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Layden in the corner off the inbounds pass, and she tickles the twine for three. 15 12 now. The Boilermakers trail by three. Back to K on the trailer. Seven on the shot clock for the Boilermakers. Trailer will pull the trigger from deep, and she hits her first bucket of the day is a triple. One dribble will be Farquhar. She'll leave it left wing near side for Layden. Drops to the left block for Dion. Posts up Patty. Diagonal skip right wing for a more three, and she switched it. Checked by Juhas. 12 to shoot. Ball top of the circle trailer. Off the screen right of Dion. She's checked by Miller. She passes to Moore for a top of the circle three. Hit it. It's an 18-0 run as the Buckeyes peel back in half court. 41-27, the Ohio State lead. A right point three put up by Harden, and she swishes to end the 18-0 run. Layden off the right wing, pitches it out to the right corner of Dumbia. She'll dribble once and give to Layden for a right wing three. She knocked it down for Purdue. Layden with 10. Are you speaking from experience? Uh, yes. Morgan? Experience. Hate it for other teams as well. Trailer kick out to Layden, who rattles down a three. That's the first field goal in over three minutes. There's Carissa McLaughlin out for the season for Purdue, but they also lost Roxanne McCullough, who is expected to be their defensive alpha. Meanwhile, back-to-back -back triples. Michigan State just won for their last seven. Meanwhile, Purdue has made a handful of shots in a row. Here's Trailer down the middle. Trailer almost had it tipped away, gets it back under control. Off to Brooke Moore. She's open. Deep three on the way. Good. Brooke Moore found herself wide open behind the men's three point line. Halftime here at Mackey, Maryland over Purdue 44 26. And here's Brooke Moore on the offensive end for Purdue to Kiana Trailer. KT drives, gets around Bibby, throws in the corner to Layden. She fires a three and hits. Madison Layden, 18 games in a row with at least one triple. Tonight's game is presented by the Purdue Center for Cancer Research. Farquhar back on top of the trailer. Now shot clock at five. Here's Janelle Grant. She steps behind the three-point line. Bullseye for Janelle Grant. First triple of the game. Here's Moore now with five seconds. Moore back off to Harden. Harden with two seconds. Back to Moore. Deep three up. Bullseye for Brooke Moore at the quarter break. In the first half, Purdue had trouble solving this Illinois zone in yeah. Champaign, and it looks like the troubles are continuing here in West Lafayette. On 
unfortunately, another one of those turnovers that winds up two points the other way. Here's for two beyond left side. Farquhar is going to fire a three. Bullseye for Tam Farquhar. Only her second triple of the season. Done a nice job uh, plugging up the dribble drive and then grabbed a couple of steals off of that as well as grabbing a defensive board. Now Madison Layden has a cross court pass. Trailer is open. Three on the way. Bullseye for Kayana Trailer. Three straight threes by the Boilermaker. Recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions for both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence. Sent it right out of bounds. 19 to shoot. Here's Layden's first look. Smooth for Madison Layden. Megan Gustafson got to show that a little bit more, kind of her face-up game a little bit. They would like to show that off for Monica Sinano if they can. Oh, a contested. Trailer once again for three. Kayana Trailer heating up in the second quarter.